This video is sponsored by SellCashier.com. SellCashier pays top dollar for your used iPhone. Get a quote, ship your phone, and get paid. It's that simple. What's up, Geeksters? It's me, Omar, from GeeksterLabs.com. How are you guys doing today? Well, the product I'm showing you is another iPhone 6 case, and this is probably um, one of my more favorite case companies. Probably my, definitely my top three favorite case companies is Element Case, and this is their sector for the iPhone 6. Now, the one I have here is the gun metal black version. It also is available in blue. And as you can see here, most of, for the most part, this is pretty much a polycarbonate case, which is basically means plastic, uh, except for the side rails right here are aluminum. So those are actual aluminum side rails on both sides of the case. And that is actually genuine carbon fiber in the back as well. One of the biggest changes they've made to the case is that this back panel here used to be had used to have just an adhesive backing to it where you would stick it to the back of your phone. Now they have it. They have a nice design here where it's actually wedged into there, so it's locked into place by these side rails. So once you take off the side rails on the bottom, you can actually pull that piece off. The one thing I will mention that about this case that is something that that you should definitely consider. Uh, before purchasing this is that one it does retail for $80 so it's a higher price case the other thing is that in order to put your phone into this case you do have to remove six screws uh, on this case and that's basically what holds it into place and keeps it on your phone I kind of wish they would have maybe come up with a way to do this without having to use the screws but uh, ever since the very first time I think the first one they had for this is for the iPhone 4 it's always had been held in by screws so uh, they do they did get away with the adhesive backing which is nice but it does still have the screws so as you can see right here the screws are in the corners right there so there's one screw right there there's actually two screws on the bottom sections right here right there as well and then uh, two more here on, on the both ends of the aluminum aluminum uh, side rails. So once you take those off, this back piece will come off and just pop the phone in through the back. And then you screw it all back together again, and then you're good to go. And it's gonna be in, your phone's going to be inside the case. They do include the tool in order to take out the screws, which, the screws, which is really nice. And one thing to mention, guys, if you do purchase this case, it actually has two different ends. They use the same tool for different cases. So for this particular case, you take off the, you pop the end off right here, and that's the tool that you would use for this one. There's actually another tool on the other end, on this side right here, that's actually smaller, that's used for different cases. So if you get the tool, don't freak out if you pull off with the wrong end and it doesn't, it's too small, the screwdriver is too small to remove the screws. So keep in mind there are two ends of it right here. The other thing they do include is they do include two extra screws and two extra switches for the mute switch. So I don't have, I have both of them in here right now because it'll fall out. If you can see right there, but I'll show you when I do the close-ups what that switch looks like when it's uh, when your case is your phone is actually installed into the case. So that's the case uh, so far right now. Like I said, Element Case is one of my favorite case companies. Let's go ahead and pop in the phone into the case. I'm not going to film that because that's going to take me a good two, three to five minutes to take all the screws out, install it, and put it back together. So we'll jump over after I put the phone into here, and I'll give you guys a full tour of the actual uh, case itself while it is on the iPhone six. All right, now that we got the case on the phone, finally, let's get some really nice close-ups of it. So as you can see right here, first off, our mute switch, it does, it is being replaced since these new side rails are on there. So, but there is a new little switch right here, and you can, it'll actually go up and down. You can click it, up and down. You can still feel that click. Of course, that little red dot is not, gonna, or that red line is not going to be there anymore. So you'll just have to know whether up or down is turned on and off. But if you've used an iPhone long enough, you probably know which one is which. Uh, we get to the volume buttons, blocked off, but it has a nice click through, so you can. Still feel a click when you press on that, which is really nice. Get a nice close-up of the railing there. There's a logo on the side. Very nice cut on this. So even everything really matches up very nicely. Get to the very bottom piece, which is a nice clear smoke piece of polycarbonate uh, for the, the bottom crown right here. And we get to the bottom section right here. So here we have the headphone jack. And then we do have the secondary microphone. It's a pretty good size opening for the headphone jack. I think if you have a larger headphones, you may have some issues getting them to fit in there. But the ones I, I use normally, uh, which are a little bit bigger than the iPhone headphones, they, sh they fit in there pretty fine, so that shouldn't be an issue. Uh, also, the lightning connector, too, a nice big, large opening, so it has enough space for any connectors to fit in there. I, I have some, like I mentioned in my other videos, I have larger connectors that are bigger than the iPhone, uh, the Apple lightning connector, that, and they all fit in here perfectly, no problems at all. We do have, see that the speaker is completely blocked off. There's no there's no holes right there. The, it is actually complete, it say, actually has, what does that say, letters? There's like CBS, SBS? It actually says SBS. So the microphone is completely blocked off, but the cool thing is it reroutes it to the front of the phone, which is very nice. As you guys know, sometimes the best way to hear any kind of audio coming from the speakerphone is by cupping the case so that way it'll bounce off your hand bounce in front of you this does it for you see it's blocking off the microphone and it's rerouting the sound towards your face and that works very well I really like the fact that they did that 
They didn't have to, but it's a nice little feature that they put on there. So that sound and the audio comes straight out of there, and it, it goes straight towards your face. So it does increase the sound just by a little bit. I'm not going to say it makes it louder. It just makes it clearer, and then you don't have to cup it anymore to have the audio come towards your face. So really nice uh, thinking right there on Element's case. So we get to the back the side. Another rail. We have our standby switch right there. Another uh, soft black button, so you can feel that click. You can even hear that. So that's very nice. I like how it responds to that, and you can still feel that that cut right there, that click. Get to the side. Let's go to the back of the phone. So the camera right here, we have a nice large opening for the camera, the microphone, and the flash. The flash uh, does not bounce off the edge of the case. You can see kind of the thickness of the case right there. Get to the front. We see our, our home button right there. Nothing blocking that off at all. It does kind of come up on the edges there, but which is really nice. Everything's good with the camera and the, the other sensors and things like that. There is a slight lip on it, as you can see right here on the edge. Not by much, though. It's pretty, pretty minimalistic, but it is there. So if you were to drop it face down completely flat, I think that bumper right there, the edge of it, would probably do a good enough job of, of making sure the glass screen doesn't crack. Of course, if it drops from a really high... Uh, really, a really big height straight down on its face. It could still obviously crack if it's a really, really big, uh, a big drop. But for small drops from like your waist down, I think it should be fine. There's enough of a lip on there to protect it. So everything looks pretty good. So this is a sector for the iPhone 6. And uh, like I said in the beginning of this video, Element Case is probably one of my top three. If I would, I would, I can go ahead and say that it's probably my favorite, number one favorite case company. Um, as you guys know, I've reviewed cases a lot. For those of you that don't know me, I've been reviewing iPhone cases for about seven, almost eight years. So I've seen a lot of cases. Um, Element Case came out with their first case for the iPhone 4. I've been reviewing cases since the very first generation iPhone. I actually still have that iPhone 4 case uh, from Element. It was the Vapor. They've made so many cool improvements to the cases, and they've done a really good job of making them stand out among the pack. I love how their cases make your iPhone almost seem like a different shape, a different form factor, which is nice. You know, other cases, they just wrap up your phone and protect it. This is still protecting your phone, but it gives it a nice, cool, tactile look to it. And uh, I pretty much love all their cases. Now, keep in mind, it does retail for $80, which is very expensive, in my opinion, for a case. So keep that in mind. And also, like, like I mentioned earlier... It's going to take some time to take your phone out of this case. So if you're the type of person that likes to swap your phone out a lot, you may not enjoy this case that much because it takes almost, you know, two to three minutes to take all the screws off the case, take the phone out of there, and to install it, it's, you know, it's the same amount of time. So it does take quite a few steps. That's probably the one negative aspect that I would have to say about this case is that you do have to use the tool to remove the screws. I wish it was a way to, to get your phone in and out of it without having any kind of tools and such. But, um, you know, for me... Like I said, if you're the type of person that uses a, a case on your phone and you don't swap it a lot, that's not going to be a big issue for you. That's not going to matter at all. The, for me, the bigger issue probably is the price for a lot of people. $80 is quite a bit of money to spend on an iPhone case. But um, they do make high-quality cases. I love them. Like I said, one of my favorite, favorite case companies. They actually sent me the uh, the Sector Pro, which is a really nice case as well, very similar to this one. But uh, we'll talk about the differences in that video. So I look forward to reviewing that for you. And I look forward to testing it with my phone. So this uh, comes in two different colors. This is the black on black and then it, like the gunmetal black. And I also have an alloy blue uh, for the sector. And I believe there's actually a white one too, like an arctic white. And the, on that one, the back piece is white. And I think the side rails are like a lighter white or something like that. So check it out on elementcase.com. They'll have all the pictures of their products and such on there. But that's it for me, guys. If you have any questions about this product... Please post those down below. I read each and every single one of your comments on all of my videos, and I will always do my best to get back to you as quick as possible. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if you want to stay up to date with all of my case reviews as well as my other tech reviews, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. And as always, guys, make sure you stop by GeeksterLabs.com for the latest in tech news and video reviews. And I will see you in the next video review.